Hey, it's Dr. Judy Gooch again, a rehabilitation doctor, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about strokes. So what is a stroke in the brain? Well, first, it is a type of brain injury. And it happens when the blood supply to a part of the brain is suddenly cut off. When you don't have enough blood to your brain, doesn't get enough oxygen, and some of the brain cells die. So it can either come from a blockage of some of the arteries bring that in the neck that bring blood to the brain, or it can happen from bleeding into the brain when a blood vessel bursts. Every year in the US, about 800,000 people have a stroke. So what does it cause? Well, first of all, it usually causes weakness on one side of the body or the other. And if you have a stroke in the left side of your brain, then you have right-sided weakness. Or stroke in the right side of the brain, you can have left-sided weakness. Or it's called hemiparesis. People also often have other symptoms with the stroke. If you have a stroke in the right side of the brain, you can have decreased self-awareness and left-sided neglect. You're not aware of the left side of your body. When I was in medical school, I saw a woman who had had a stroke in the right side of her brain and she had left-sided weakness. I picked up her arm and I said, hey, what's this? And she did not know it was her own hand. People tend to run into things on the left side of their body. So this doesn't bode too well for driving. Uh, if you have a stroke in the left side of your brain, usually you have language difficulties called aphasia. If you remember, Bruce Willis had a type of brain injury, type of dementia that led to aphasia and he couldn't think of words to say. People with uh, injury to the stroke in the left side of the brain can also, are more likely to have depression. In a few more videos, I'm going to show you some cool stories of people who have had a stroke and are working to get better.